Here I am at the Little Clear Pond put-in. This is the beginning of what the you know, seven carries or the nine carries route uh, that takes you up through Fish Pond and out through Long Pond over by the Outfitters on Floodwood Road. I'm gonna do a little exploring here for a couple days. I've never seen this side. I've been through the whole pond, the Turtle Pond, Slang Pot area, but I've never seen St. Regis Pond or Fish Pond. All right, just to provide some perspective of where I am, here I, I'm, on, I'm at Little Clear at the put-in, and I intend to paddle through Little Clear, do this half mile portage over to St. Regis Pond, and we'll see where life takes me from there. What a day. Couldn't have asked for better weather for this little trip. And it's gonna be 70 degrees. It's gonna be a little cold at night. Tonight it's gonna be below freezing, 30 degrees. I think I'll just enjoy myself out here and try to do some fishing, look around and take you guys along for the ride. About two thirds of the way through Little Clear Pond now. It's just a wonderful day. Let's see if I can ride this wind a little bit now. It's taking me right towards the portage. So I just sail in there now. Okay, reach the, the portage to St. Regis Pond. Take a little break. Get my packs together. And then I'm gonna try to one shot this portage. All right, first portage here from Little Clear Pond to St. Regis Pond, it's a half a mile. Did a little research and this portage isn't too bad, it's pretty flat. St. Regis Pond. Time to find a campsite.
haven't even seen anybody else out here. St. Regis Mountain in front of us. And you can, if you look closely to the peak on the right, you can see the fire tower that, and I've actually climbed that mountain. That's got awesome views of this whole area. All right, so the lean-to site number three was occupied. Out. We'll see how it looks. Looks good from the water. Nice and flat. There's fresh firewood, a relatively clean fire pit, a log to sit on. Oh, here's the privy. I think I found my site for the night. So water's on. What am I gonna eat for dinner tonight? I have some Kathmandu curry. I have some Cuban coconut black beans and rice. And I have a Kung Pao beef. I think that sounds good tonight. So, this is where I am, campsite four, and uh, I came in over here, checked out campsite two, went past the lean-to, it was occupied, I saw campsite six was occupied, and I'm at four, I'm making some dinner. that about 12 minutes in the meantime we could get a little fire started Dinner's done. Just listening to the various sounds. Send my wife a little Garmin message, let her know I'm okay and where I am. And once my fire burns out, I'm probably just going to hit the hay. Get some coffee going and then go for a little paddle. Check this place out a little bit. Going with a instant coffee. Alpine start is actually pretty quality for an instant. Looks like the water's ready. <clears throat> that thing's 
last loaded. Maple and brown sugar. It's funny, I never eat oatmeal at home, but for some reason in the woods, it always tastes so good. Same Regis Mountain. All right. So I just did a morning paddle and I'm collecting some gear, just some minimal gear that I intend to take out to Oak Ray Pond now. Off we go. Okay, just starting the portage to Oak Ray Pond. It's 0.6 miles. I'm gonna try to take this one as slow and steady. Let's see how this works. It'll be kind of tricky. So 
So I'm like two thirds of the way through the Oak Ray Pond portage from St. Regis Pond to Oak Ray Pond. It's a bug factory back here, just so you know. Starting to get a change in vegetation, so maybe something to do with the moisture here. So hoping I'll poke through right now. Oh yeah, see some water. Just finished the half mile portage to Oak Ray Pond from St. Regis Pond. Oak Ray Pond is this tiny little pond. In fact, you can see, maybe the camera's not picking it up, but I can see it. Right behind me there is the sign for the portage to fish pond. According to the paddler's map, there's a campsite next to the stream, and then another one straight across. The sign needs to be replaced, but this is the carry to Fish Pond. So this is the western side of Oak Ray Pond. my boat out. There's a big old bullfrog. And I almost dragged my boat right over the top of him. Alright buddy. Move along. Move along so you're safe. Go on. Good. I'm coming through there too so be careful. Right, yep, there you go. That's better. See you later. So this is the takeout at the northern side of Oak Ray Pond. There's another campsite over there on the south side, a primitive campsite. But there are two campsites here. Let's see if I can find the campsite on the south side. The south side campsite is here. There's a takeout here. So this is the takeout on the primitive site. It's unnumbered. It's very well hidden. The fire pit sits nice and low down. So just taking a little break here on the south side of Oak Ray Pond site. Taking the chance to filter some water, some gravity filter. It's just swarmed with bugs. Had to break out the bug net. <clears throat> Although I wasn't getting bit that much, it's just flying in your face. It's 
the camera getting this or what? It's a lot of bugs. I'm gonna head back now, the half mile portage to St. Regis Pond and just relax a little bit, do some fishing. All right, more or less a half mile from my campsite now. All right, just leaving Oak Ray Pond. About to do the portage back to St. Regis Pond. This is what it looks like going this way. Back to St. Regis. I'm gonna break that down. Take a look at what I've been doing this time. Same old homemade yoke. Okay, I got my map case under there. I have a tarp that I've been wrapping my pack with and putting in the bow of my boat. So I wrap my pack so it doesn't get wet. Still carry my high absorbent towels my paddle and my fishing rod are attached the exact same way so nothing's really changed with this seems like every portage gets a little bit easier in some ways except for the fact that i'm more tired i think it becomes mentally easier See if this little pond has any fish. Actually, probably has tons of fish, but I'm a horrible fisherman. So. But you know what? Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Over here on the west side of St. Regis at the fish dam, 
They have these dams that they build to uh, keep unwanted species from migrating. And uh, I was just talking to that gentleman there that's paddling away in his hornbeck. Uh, he gave me a bunch of useful information. He carts his canoe up this road over here. Decided I'm gonna pack up tonight. Instead of so I'm gonna break down my hammock rig, load up the boat, and make my way out of here before dark. It's about 4:30 p. Tried to stay as long as I could. It's 5.45 and I'm just paddling out. So I'll get out right before dark. But it was nice to come up here. Check this area out. I've never seen St. Regis Pond or Oak Ray Pond. Just phenomenal weather. The paddling conditions have been great. Right now there's a little breeze, but water's been just so nice to paddle on. So I just uh, finished the half mile portage back to Little Clear Pond. And like I said before, every portage seems to get easier. I'm exhausted right now. And I just one shot at that. Didn't take a break at all. Just about to push off. Little Clear, back to the parking lot. Back in my car, 7.15, just wrapping up. My little two day adventure here in the St. Regis. So short trip here in the St. Regis, but awesome trip.